All right, we're gonna take another look at the OBS Advanced Scene Switcher. If you didn't see my original video on how to get started, go check that out, and I'll give you some basics just to get going. Uh, but today we're gonna take a look at setting up a daisy chain of a bunch of different uh, triggers, including a timer countdown, and then a series of media countdown or triggers that all switch into themselves so that you have a countdown to start soon, a welcome screen, an intro, a cold open about what your show is that you might change that video every day or every stream, a little quick snippet about your guest, which you're gonna change every show, and then go straight into your live camera feed. So that's a bunch of different switches that saves you time by automating so you don't have to be pressing buttons and hope you're getting the timing right. All right, so let's take a look at the Advanced Scene Center. We're going to first take a look at how I've set up OBS for this. Right now we're on our host cam, so you can see me, hi. And we've got a bunch of different scenes, including the starting soon screen with a timer, a welcome screen, a quick little branded intro. Hey, all right, that's me. A cold open where I tell you what's happening on the show and a little guest intro about what our, our guest is, who our guest is, and then we'll go to this live camera feed. So we're gonna go up to tools and advanced scene switcher. First, just so things aren't happening while we're doing uh, all of this, we're gonna stop the sw scene switcher and make sure it's just paused, uh, and we'll remember to come back and start this up when we're ready. So the first thing we're gonna do is our countdown timer. So when that five second timer gets to uh, zero, it'll automatically go to our welcome screen. Now you could go over to time and set that up through this. Um, for the sake of this uh, particular tutorial, I don't wanna do it this way. I am instead going to go over into sequence and it is going to trigger when I go to that starting soon screen. So we are gonna select scene and hit starting soon and then uh, our switch is going to be to the next scene, which is welcome. And that's gonna happen at five seconds. So five right there. And we'll just use a cut for our transition. Um, we don't have a lot of graphics going on, so we don't you know, have anything to overlap with. So now if we go back to general and turn on our scene switcher, we can close this out, go to our starting soon, and it's counting down from five, four, three, two, one. A switch. All right. Great. Fantastic. Unfortunately, we haven't set anything else up. So when this welcome loop is done, it's just going to fade to black. All right. There you go. So we'll go back to tools and advanced scene switch. We're going to again, stop our switcher while we set things up. And this time we're going to go into the media tab. We're going to hit for a new prompt. And now our when becomes uh, the media source itself, not the scene. So we're gonna hit welcome.mp4, which is the media that we are playing, and we're gonna look for the state is ended. And now we could add other parameters here, like to do this longer or shorter, but for the sake of this, we're just gonna go with as is. We're gonna switch to the scene. The next in the uh, series is intro. And again, we're gonna use a cut because we are not um, doing any kind of overlay there to composite a fade with. And now we're gonna rinse and repeat for intro, cold open, and guess so. All right, so I have built out those sequences. So it all starts with our sequence sequence, which is when we hit that starting soon scene, it waits five seconds, which is the countdown, and then goes to our welcome scene, which plays media. So welcome is automatically gonna play the welcome MP4 when that ends. It's going to go to our intro. Intro, again, that ends. It's going to go to our cold open file, which is called this. Our cold open is then going to go to our guest file, which is called this. It's probably an easier way to do this so that when you're dropping new media in every week, it automatically finds that. But for the sake of this example, this is how I did it. And we can look at even simpler uh, workflows in the future. So now, we should be good to go through all of these transitions. So starting with our countdown from five seconds into welcome, into intro, into the cold open, to the guest cam, and back to me here. <clears throat> I 
Okay. And that will all work as soon as we start the advanced scene switcher. So we open it up, we hit the start button, close it, and now when we click on starting soon, our chain of events begins. Into our welcome, hands free. Into our intro. There's our cold open. This is a little bit about our guest. Hey, it's also me. And then back to me on the, uh, the big old cam. So I hope that's helpful to you. Um, if you know that your intros and your, your uh, you know, different things are going to be the same length of time, you're just gonna be replacing it every week, um, you could do that as uh, a different method that is a little easier. And we'll look at that in the future. Um, but yeah, if you have questions or use cases you'd like to see built out, leave a comment and let me know, and I will try and make a video on that in the future. And as always, please like and subscribe to me over at youtube.com slash samproof. And it's